morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to another daily vlog. My little corner here in my office is terrible lighting, so I am very sorry. Um, we're getting ready. It is 9.15. We are going to go to the morning summer movies at our theater. Um, do you guys remember when they used to do, like, free summer movies? I guess it varies depending on where you live. We used to live places where they would do free summer movies. It's like older movies that are out on video or out on DVD or streaming or whatever. And um, movie theaters basically give them to you for free, let you watch them for free because they know they're going to sell popcorn and all that. Well, here they're $3 a ticket. So not free, but still cheaper than going to the movies any other time. So me and the kids are getting ready to go. We're going to go see uh, Minions. Rise of Gru. I don't even know if I've seen it or not, but honestly, I just hope the kids like it. Um, here is an update. Sleep 2024. I'm just going to keep giving you guys updates because I don't know what's going on, but I am having so much trouble with sleep. This, I mean, I've had trouble over the years here and there, but this has been so frustrating because I haven't struggled in a while. Um, if it's not the kids waking up, it's me not being able to sleep. It's like, is there something going on in our home? <laughs> like, what in the world? So yesterday, everybody else slept great. I tried this new thing where I feel like a lot of my issues with sleep come from I'm watching my phone till way too late, mindlessly scrolling. The blue light is terrible for you. And so I put the phone in the bathroom. I read a little bit in my book, got tired, turned off the light. It took me still 20 or 30 minutes to go to sleep. I went to sleep. And then around 3 a.m., there was a bad storm that came through. Like, it was really loud. I can't believe the kids didn't wake up. Thunder, lightning, the whole thing. Um, like, really loud thunder and lightning. I got woken up. And even after the storm stopped, I could not go back to sleep. So... I laid in bed because I'm like, no, I'm not getting my phone. I can't read my book because I don't want to turn on the light. I need to get like a little book light. I think that's maybe a good solution. I'm not going to turn my phone on. I'm just going to lay here and eventually I'll go back to sleep. Well, I laid there and I laid there and I laid there and I laid there and I prayed and I thought about stuff and I, like I tried everything. Couldn't go back to sleep. Um, finally at 5 a.m. I went and got my phone so I could read on Libby. I read a little bit. And that was it. Like, I never went back to sleep. I had planned to get up and go to the gym today. But as soon as, like, this whole sleep thing happened, I knew I couldn't. Like, I can't be tired and work out and make it through the day. So, anyway, I'm really going to try to just push through. Um, I've tried taking magnesium. I've tried taking melatonin. I don't like taking anything stronger than that because I feel like I just feel awful the next day. And it may just take me some time to get used to not going to sleep with my phone because a lot of times I'll watch, I'll put on The Office or something really boring so that I can sleep. And I know that's a terrible habit and it may just take me some time to get used to not doing that because I find that when um, I'm just laying in bed trying to go to sleep, my mind will bring up embarrassing moments that have happened to me over my lifetime, like regrets things I need to do, like tomorrow, just, it's just like, I can't turn my brain off and I'm just struggling and it is so frustrating. So anyway, there's my update for today. I'm hoping to just make it through today. We're about to leave here in about 15 minutes. I'm going to go get everybody's shoes on. Everybody's dressed. Everybody's ready to go. Um, we're going to go to the movies and then we'll come back home. I need to prep dinner. I'm going to make some pizza casserole for dinner. It's just like a cauliflower. I have a recipe. I'll link down below, um, like a little part of a vlog, but I'll put the timestamp, the timestamps in the video. If you guys want to know, it's so good. Um, and it'll be great to make. And then I can just heat up before church tonight. We won't have to like cook and make a big production out of dinner. And if David can't come home before church, I can just bring it to him or whatever. Today's Wednesday, so we have we have Wednesday night church. So anyway, we're going to go to the movies. I'm hoping I don't fall asleep in the movie. I know I'm not because go, taking three kids to the movies is always kind of chaotic. Um, but they want to bring blankets and stuff, so I can't get too cozy. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head that way, and then I'll see you guys when we get home, and we'll just spend the day together. Basically, I just want I just want to enjoy today and not feel so tired, but I already feel tired, so... Anyway, let's spend the day together. 
I'm going to try my best to make it a good day, and uh, hopefully sleep goes better tonight for everybody. We're just in this weird cycle, and I think, like, the lack of routine is not helping because when we're in the routine of school and I'm waking up every single day at six o'clock in the morning, I'm sleeping a lot better, but we're just so discombobulated right now. So my goal is to start trying to get back up at 630, give myself 30 minutes extra than what I have during school. Um, and just making myself get up every single morning that just trying to see if I can get back on of some sort of schedule. But anyway, I will see you guys back when we get home from the movies. All right, you guys, we are back home. I'm in the same place at my desk um, because I need to get the vlog edited. It is noon. The movie was really cute. Um, no, not going to lie. I am severely struggling with my migraines. Lack of sleep is a big trigger, and um, like I can almost feel it coming on. I'm going to go ahead and take some medicine, uh, but I need to get this video up. Hopefully, it will just pass right through. I'm just struggling the whole movie. I was like so tired, but the kids did great. Me and David were actually just talking about this this morning. Like this video came up of when Lucy and Nate were like two and four. And we were all, we were just talking about how much we miss them being that age. But then I was like, you know what? <laughs> There's so much more we can do now. Like, it's just different. I miss them being little, but I also really enjoy them being a little bit older. We get to do more things. I mean, for years, going to the movie was really, really hard. And now it's to the point where we can go and it's like literally no problem. They just all sit there and they watch it. And it's, it's crazy. It's crazy because it was, it was a lot of years in the making. Um, and I really like our theater because it's very much spaced out. Um, there's like good walkways and it's like reclining chairs and everything. And you just feel like you're in your own little world and not like smushed up against other people. But the movie was really cute. I had never seen that one before. The Rise of Gru, the Minions. It was cute. David and I went and saw Despicable Me, the first one. When it came out, we were dating and we didn't have kids or anything. We just went and saw it because we used to go to movies all the time. We would see like that was what we did. We would just go to movies. And so we would go see kid movies. We would see whatever. And uh, we went and saw Despicable Me. And we laughed until I just remember us like about to pee on ourselves laughing so hard at that movie. So every time I watch Minions or Despicable Me, I always think about that. But anyway, we got out of the movies and it was pouring rain. We had that storm last night and then it was like really sunny when we left for the movies. When we came back, it was back to being rainy. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, I'm going to get the video up and I was thinking about prepping that cauliflower pizza. But just at the same time, I don't feel like doing all that because I need to grate the cauliflower and all this stuff. So I'm going to wait and do that tomorrow. We have some leftover taco meat. And I'm going to make David, I'm going to put some taco meat on some Quest chips and do like nachos for him. I think he'll really like that. And I have some buffalo chicken dip in the freezer. So I pulled one out to defro defrost, defrost for dinner. And that's what I'm going to have. That'll be really easy before church tonight. But anyway, I'm holding my own. I'm still awake. I, I, would really, I would really, see, I can't even talk. I'd really like to like, just lay on the couch and just try to rest for a little bit. So maybe I can do that when I get this video done, but anyway, it's going to be a long night before I can sleep. I just hope tonight I can sleep. I really, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on with me. So anyway, I will see you guys back in a little bit. I'm going to show you my HelloFresh order for today. So I try to get the fit and wholesome meals or meals that I think, I think these are all fit and wholesome. Meals that I think I can tweak to make healthy. Um, it's three o'clock, it's just got here. And it's really hot, so I wanted to get it in, although the ice is still very frozen, so we are good. Um, shawarma spice turkey lettuce wraps. This looks absolutely perfect. I don't see any problem with this meal. 540 calories. Looks good. My big fat Greek chicken salad. I'm not a big chicken fan, but I thought I would give it a chance because the salad looks really good. And again, looks perfect with in terms of what's in it for us. Perfect. And then 
this I'll have to switch out the cauliflower. I'll have to switch out cauliflower rice for regular rice, but that should be no big deal. So San Antonio beef bowls, we've had this one before and it's really good. So that is our meals. And then I'll show you guys this before. They come sandwiched in ice packs. So everything is still really cold. This is not sponsored. We just love Hello Fresh. No, it's not. He's got a sponsor. He said, no, it's not. And then all my protein will be underneath a second ice pack. And I will stick those in the freezer and we reuse them. They're perfect for like coolers, traveling, whatever. So we have ground turkey. We have ground beef. And we have chicken cutlets. So I'm going to get this all in the fridge. Um, David should be home. I think he's coming home before church. So we'll be eating dinner here soon. I got all of that put away. And Mark just said, how old are you? I said, 37. I'll be 38 this year. And he said, 48? Wow. I'm like, no, 30. I'll be 38. He said, how about 50? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> you stinker. Yeah. You stink a turd. <laughs> 60? He's making me age so fast. That's kind of how I feel today, though. I'll make you 1,000. 1,000. You're silly. How old are you? I'm four. You're four. Do you mean 14? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll grow up faster. That's fine. Um, Layla is 14. She is. Um, I got HelloFresh put away. This afternoon, I got my video uploaded to YouTube, so that's good to go. I laid on, I laid on my bed and like dozed off for like in and out for like 30 minutes, and I don't think it helped. I think it made me feel worse. Hey, that's so loud. But David should be home in a couple hours, and we're gonna go to church. So I feel like I just have to push through. Um, I just gotta push through and get some good sleep tonight. Please, Lord. Like, I, I'm really struggling. I don't know how I'm going to make it through church, but I have to. So, hopefully I don't fall asleep in the sound booth upstairs. But, um, man, I, I haven't struggled this bad in a long time. Normally, I'm losing sleep because the kids are up. And when I do get to sleep, I sleep fine. But lately, it's been all me, so... I don't know. I don't know. I will see you guys back in a little bit. Um, I've got my buffalo chicken dip over here that I froze. Almost thawed. It's not far from thawed out. I wrote on it with like a hey, quit yelling. I wrote on it with a with like a wet erase marker. Well, when I put it in the freezer, I guess it like froze off. It's a mess. But anyway. All right, we'll see you guys back in a little while. Um, we're going to head to church, and then I'll see you guys after. Let, let's cross our fingers I can get through. I can get through. Say hello. Say hello, Layla. And I'm sitting here kind of in another bad lighting spot. Um, okay, so it is now 6.51, and I am not at church, and this is what happened. Um, I am feeling a lot better, but still tired. Um, David got home, and around the time he got home, about 4.30 or so, I started getting really bad ringing in my ear, like tinnitus, which I've not really ever had before. And it was to the point where it was starting to give me a worse headache than I already have had, like a low-lying headache. Well, it very quickly with the ringing and all of that, it kind of kicked it up into a migraine. So he said, let me just take Mark and Lucy to church and you just rest. They're just showing like a, a video. There's, I think there's like one more video in this series we're doing. And he's like, I can, I can do it. No problem. You stay and rest. So me and Nate are home and, um, I got a hot bath, which is like my migraine trick, and it is helped. It helped a lot. I'm actually feeling a lot better, thankfully, and the ringing has stopped. I googled, you know, like what causes the ringing in your ear, and 
the statistic that Google came up with, which I don't know if it's true, but they said like 77% of people with tinnitus is have sleep deprivation. Um, I know like <laughs> I was editing the vlog from yesterday. I know like all of the vlogs recently have been on this sleep deprivation subject and like the trouble I've been having. But honestly, like it's all I can think about during the day is how completely exhausted I am. Um, we, we've been at this for the last two weeks, about. Has it been even two weeks? I think it's right at two weeks. Because it started as soon as we got back from Grammy and Grandpa's house. Um, and we just have not been able to figure it out. I have no idea. They was like, do we need to pray over our house or something? Like, what in the world? I still think it's just like the wacky schedule that we have. So I listened to, I was taking a bath. I listened to a podcast with a sleep expert. Like I am desperate here. And I still think learning to sleep without my phone and watching my phone but to go to sleep and all that has to help. I don't know like if I should try to drug myself with Benadryl, but then I feel like that just makes me more dependent on it. But at this point, I am so I'm almost like past tired. Like I'm just completely not all together. <laughs> not all together there or something. I just feel completely out of it. So um hopefully this is we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Um I've been taking the melatonin, but maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. If it keeps up, I'll definitely go talk to the doctor about it. I just I would like to try some non like a med medicine type things. Um, and I'm so super, super bummed because the magnesium glycinate was really working. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I can't live like this. Like it is awful. So, um, yeah. So I'm just kind of resting at home and hanging out with Nate. Just gave him a bath too. And they'll be home here soon. It won't be long. They'll be home and we'll all going to try to sleep. I'm really, I'm like at this point kind of nervous about even trying to sleep because I'm worried I'm not going to be able to. Uh, so if you have any tips, let me know. I know a lot of people struggle with insomnia. Like I'm getting close to, as Mark pointed out this morning, this afternoon, when he was saying I'm 40 and all that, um, I'm 48. Uh, I'm getting close to 40. And I know like that, you know, like hormones and stuff can do it. But I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. I think too, like when the kids are a lot up a lot in the night, like for days, like Nate was up for like a solid week, like every day. Then I get really, really tired and it throws my sleep off. And then when he sleeps really good, I'm used to waking up. So I'm waking up all hours of the night. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, I know this vlog is probably super boring and I'm sorry. Like this is real life. I say that all the time, like, you are not going to see scripted out videos here. <laughs> You're never going to see that. I just pull the camera out and vlog whatever's going on with my day. And lately, this has been the dilemma of the century. So, definitely of the month it has been sleep. And it's, sleep is something that you take for granted. Like, when I was in college, no, I didn't get a lot of sleep in nursing school. But I got more sleep than I did when I was a new mom, for sure. But you just take sleep for granted, and you don't think about it that much. And then when you don't have it, <laughs> you very quickly find out how important it is. And I was listening to this sleep expert on the Mel Robbins podcast, and it was very interesting, like, how important sleep is. And she was talking about how for so long... People have almost worn it as like a badge of honor that they were going to stay up late and they were going to miss sleep to work on a project or, you know, they were just going to power through the night and all this stuff. And she's like, really, we found that it's really, really bad for your like heart health and like you live longer if you get good sleep, which I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> um, so I don't know. It's, it's something that... I'm going to work on, she was talking about like breathing techniques to try, so I will figure it out.
We will, we will get it right, Layla. Layla has no problem sleeping. Like, she sleeps all day. She sleeps all night. Don't you? She's going tomorrow to get her hair cut and to get her nails trimmed. You going to go to the groomers tomorrow? You can get a bath. The, the bath word is her not favorite word. Bath. Not much a reaction. Do you want a bath? Bath. I'm surprised she's not reacting. Do you want a treat? A little bit of a reaction. Do you want a cookie? Mm -hmm. Do you want a carrot? Oh, that was a really good carrot. That's her favorite. Do you want to go outside? She's like, please leave me alone. I'm not, I'm not going to show you guys anything. I'm tired. Where are you tired from? You slept all day. This afternoon, I don't know if I told you guys this, I was uh, editing my vlog on the computer, and she was so desperate for attention that she sat at my feet, like just right by my feet, and cried the entire time. It broke my heart. And then, then I held her for a while, and she was happy. All right, you guys, so that is it. I'm also trying to make sure I drink a lot, but then I feel like if I drink too much, I'm up going to the bathroom. I don't know. I think I'm overthinking this, but I just, I'm <laughs> just struggling. So anyway, I haven't missed a Wednesday night since we started Wednesday night at our campus. And I really hate to miss tonight, but uh, I am glad to kind of just have some time, dim down time. And um, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Give me some sleep advice. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We're like 50 people, 50, a little over 50 people away from 25,000 subscribers. Help me get there. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.